On this episode, the finale to Gavin's 2023 visit to Ireland, we continue to see Gavin devour and still not share his twirls. The light plays tricks on us. We get frustrated by bad weather, and will it affect our own mood? Gavin shows he actually does share food, if only with Amanda. He steals my composition in an iconic location, and finally admits I took a better shot than him. So welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and today you join me, I am back in the north of Ireland, and Gavin is behind me here, devouring the last of the twirls that I brought him. So I brought them as a nice gift in the hope that he might actually share, but I haven't even had a sniff of one yet. Are they nice? You wouldn't like it. No, I wouldn't like it. I'd love it. Yeah. But we're here and Gavin's eating this to try and make himself feel a bit better because we are in a stunning location, but what we have is sideways rain. So rain that will hamper us getting a shot but I still think we're gonna try anyway. We're taking shelter at the moment here. There is a newly erected hut um, that the farmer who owns the field uh, owns. And we actually tried to ring the farmer to get in here, but unfortunately there was no answer. So if on the off chance the farmer is watching, we did try and ring you. But we're here because we wanna get this for sunset. Mind you, sunset will happen, but I don't think we're going to see any of it. But we're at this stunning Dunluce Castle in a viewpoint that I've been to earlier in the year and I was hopeful that I actually get some nice light or even some moody conditions. We're definitely going to get mood, but I didn't know. Are we going to get a shot? We'll see. We're going to get a bad mood. <laughs> it's day five in the Big Brother house in the Gavin's trip to Ireland and we're still talking anyway, so we haven't punched each other yet. But the bad weather and the bad mood might just change that. So let's see how we go today. Right, so the sideways rain has gone, and you know they say after rain comes light, and we have a small bit of it over here on the horizon. It may not come out on that camera, so we've just taken now the opportunity to get out here, only handheld just to grab the shot. Um, it is still quite dark as well, so it'll be a challenge to be able to get the shot. I might still end up taking out the, uh, the tripod, but I think overall, just to grab the shot where we can, because it looks like there could be more rain, but it looks like it may not be as well. That's how unpredictable our weather here is anyway. But yeah, this is a stunning structure. I'll give you a look at the shot that I've taken now. If we get the light with that light ray that's over there and with the gaps, if it breaks through and we'll be there ready to grab the shot. If that's lit up just by light, I think it will be stunning. But right now it's kind of flat and gray and moody. Maybe I'll edit the image to be just that, but we'll see anyway here. There are some gaps in the sky, so I am a small bit hopeful that we will be rewarded. So I'll give you a look at this shot now and then I'll check in again if we get another opportunity to shoot. What is usually the case is we get light in every other place than where we want it. So you can see here, we've got some beautiful light breaking out over this way. And if I turn you this way here, up here we have the Giant's Causeway, which got some beautiful light as well a second ago. In the wrong place for us, we want it right here. Now, I'm still hopeful that we may just get a blush of light even in the clouds, but I don't know if we're gonna get it on the subject. So what I've done now is I've just set my camera up here on a post. Didn't even bother getting out the tripod because I wanted to go handheld with the wind, but the post seems to be holding it quite steady to do a time lapse. I have the put on the post, it is at a bit of an angle, but hopefully I'll be able to fix that later. I don't exactly have the skills to straighten out the post that's been put in there, so I have to make do with the tools that I have. But I think that should be nice because with the movement in the clouds, they're going extremely fast over this. So no light in it so far, bit of a time lapse, couple of more shots, give you a look at those and we'll continue to wait now. And hopefully this light that you see here behind me starts to come onto where we want it to there.
So in usual fashion, the light came everywhere except where we wanted it. Now right above me here, the upper atmosphere clouds are catching, but there is nothing over the castle. So not only are we getting light on the subject, but we've got no light either above it. But I took a shot anyway for the sake of taking a shot. I think I got a bit of a blush of colour in the top right hand corner of the image, but overall, once again, Dunluce has eluded me from getting a nice shot. I am hopeful that we'll get something nice in the morning because our trip isn't over yet. We've got one more location to go to. And again, it's a location that I have been to before, Gavin has been to before, but it's a place that has always good for shots. And that is the Dark Hedges. Morning and welcome to the Dark Hedges, a place that I visited already but is absolutely stunning to photograph. And when I'm here with Gavin, he very similar to me had said he'd shot it before, but he wasn't happy with the shots that he got. So you know what? When in Rome, we said we'd come and have a look, and we're here for dawn. And looking at the sky behind me here, as you can see, just big brightness, is it quite clear? It's also clear on the other direction. Now the sun is going to come up over here, and what we want is the light to come in and stream in through trees. So I'm going to get a set up, get a shot set up anyway here now. It's still maybe 25 minutes until the sunrise, but already it's bright enough. I'll get a kind of a blue hour kind of darkish exposure but I'll get one of you set up here and then Gavin will be arriving as well in a moment and yeah we'll check in again then. So now that His Royalness has arrived, he is in the process of taking my comp. Yeah. <laughs> and there is only one comp really from here and you have to be in the middle of the road. And because I was the first here, obviously I took the middle of the road. But I'm a nice guy, you know, contrary to what he said, I will share it. So he's now in getting as close as he can to my comp. He'll probably end up moving my camera and it'll go in the ditch in a couple of minutes, but that's okay as well. But I think we'll just wait now for the light. The sun has risen, but there is a small bit of cloud on the horizon, so waiting for that now to break, and then hopefully we get some nice light streaming in through the trees. Now that the sun has risen, we are getting some really, really nice light that's streaming in through the trees. So uh, all we have to do now is grab these shots and then hopefully we'll get some birds as they wake up in the morning to go stretch their wings and fly through the scene. I'll give you a look at this shot anyway here now and then hopefully as the birds get ready, we'll get a shot of those yeah. also.
What was that, Kevin? Well, uh, I have to admit that your portrait shot of us was definitely far better than the one that was shot on my camera. I'll give you that. Oh, man. I, do you know what? Mark this date down in history because it ain't going to happen again. Well, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's probably just the camera, though. I don't think it's yours. Well, no, it's not going to happen again because you're not going to be stood in the scene again. <laughs> <laughs> So the light now has had its peak, it's gone a bit too high in the sky, a bit too harsh, there's a bit of cloud right that's giving it a small bit of diffusion, but overall I'm really happy with the shots that we got here. Gavin, happy with your shots? Really happy with it, even though we didn't get the mist, yeah. it's better than the last time I was here, that's for sure. Yeah, and plus you're still alive. Yeah, I didn't didn't nearly die this nearly time. Nearly die, yeah, yeah. And you know what, it also comes to the end of my trip hanging out with these two guys, it's been their absolute pleasure, even though it should be my absolute pleasure but i hope you enjoyed yourselves you hope you enjoyed ireland yeah it was, it was good uh, you know dealing with you was a bit of a chore to be that, quite honest that is always a challenge um but you know the scenery was good you, you know what the highlight it was though go on when bernard met up with us that oh, that was so much fun you know <laughs> that, is that gonna last forever oh yeah i mean that's that's a magic moment i think both us and bernard will remember that i think so for the rest of our lives i think so the yeah. sweet smell of success yes <laughs> <laughs> so essen guys thank you very much for uh, okay. the fun the laughs that we had i'm going to finish up this episode now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and i presume you would have subscribed to gavin because everybody has stopped us everywhere we've gone and said, I know you, I recognise that voice. But they don't say it until they're leaving. Exactly, yes. Because so. they basically hate watch, don't they? Probably, yeah. But you know what, even if somebody hates everything you do, and watch everything you do, they're still a fan. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Schlange voll. Schlange voll. Now, when you're taking your drink in Ireland, you can't say cheers. We have to say Schlange. Schlange. And I was wondering if you could give us some local information, like uh, what kind of wildlife do you have in oh, Ireland? We have leprechauns. Leprechauns? Yeah. Are they nice? Only on Tuesdays, between two and three, they're nice. Every other time, they're deadly, man. They're dangerous? Oh, yeah. They'd eat your ankles first, then your knees, and that's how Irish dancing was created. Because everybody go. <laughs> <laughs> like, would I find one around here? Uh, I think I saw one a moment ago, but we have to be, like, they're quick. They're elusive. We'll keep our eye out for one, and if we see one, I'll give you a shout. I'm kind of scared. Like, what if I did a handstand and kept my feet up? That's fine, because they only like ankles. They won't take your wrists. So that's why the circus people came from Ireland first, because they all learned to walk on their hands first, so that leprechauns wouldn't eat their ankles. That is intense. Yep. All the best local information. Free of charge. I don't, I don't, don't think so. I'm sure there's a link in the description. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I'm the king of narcissism. No, that's Adam Gibbs. <laughs> nah, that's not true. It's Thomas Eaton. <laughs> now, again, about that gift. Yes. Where, where is it in your camera bag? I was going to put them in my camera bag. Okay. I put them aside so that I put them in my camera bag. But the side I put them on was not the right side. They're in the van then? They're in the van. Well, I mean, we've got two hours. You could mosey back to the van. Make it back here. Brilliant. Yeah. Start the timer. You ready? Yeah. You know I have an injury? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Darren, have you got any any lens cloths? I got a bit of a smudge there. Yeah, yeah, in my bag there, man. Oh, that's all right. This bag? Yeah, yeah, in the oh. bag there, dude, yeah. Yeah, it's good, uh, good lens cloths. Yeah, that's great. Thanks a lot, mate. No worries, man. Yeah. He's just packing up now. Do you think you could uh, give us those twirls you were talking about? Look at that. A full pack of ten bars. A pack of ten? You, you wouldn't like them, look, I don't think. Mm. Mm, they're hard. Mm. Mm. I don't think you all like them. Bad knee itis, bad back itis, and old man lazy itis. I think it's more a case of bullshit itis. <laughs> you, you, you like the Guinness, right? But you're you're not drinking the Guinness there, Daryl. No, I can't. Uh, my belly is big enough as it is. If I drink too much Guinness, then it'll just be maybe like yours. Well, that's been an absolutely brilliant shoe, lads. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. no for showing me where no this was and, and, and thanks to you however I, I've got to be honest with you I'm a little bit upset that you keep plugging your bloody books in my videos sorry about that mate. well I think as recompense yeah. I believe that what you ought to do is plug a proper book and I, I think if you could just mention that if you are looking for a book with mediocre images but fantastic stories that go with said images this is the only book and I'm so happy to hold it in my hand with the author of said book, who actually has pre-signed it. Ho ho! To Daryl. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> it's not a guy called Adam Gibbs, no. Don't get that confused. It's a guy called Gavin Hardcastle. Mm, where did you buy his book? Well, I'm glad you asked actually, Bernard, because there's a link in the description <laughs> below. Oh! Well, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, or if you just enjoyed the shenanigans, give it the old thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to tickle my bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to my channel too. No, don't worry about yeah, that. Come on, I need the help. Come on, uh, Bernard, have you got a channel? No. Link to his Instagram page in the description. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>